When it comes to taglines, there are two types, those that make you money and those that lose you money. So in this video, let's make sure we've got the right one for your business. Let's get to it. Hey there, my name is Adam Earhart, modern marketing strategist, and welcome to the Modern Marketing Show, where we help you make marketing that matters. So if you're interested in learning about the latest and greatest marketing strategies, tools, tips, tricks, and tactics, well, you may want to consider subscribing and hitting that little notification bell. So first off, what exactly is a tagline? Well, sometimes referred to as a slogan or a catchphrase, and basically all it is is describing what your company does. And when it comes to taglines, there's two mistakes that most people make. Number one is they either try to cram everything into it and describe every product and service and offer that they have and essentially make it a big, jumbled, confusing mess. The other mistake that so many businesses make is they try to be too clever, too creative, and at the end of the day, nobody knows what you're talking about or what you even do. Neither of those are good. And neither of those are really your fault either. After all, most of the taglines that you know and that are studied and even taught in schools come from really well-established brands and massive businesses and huge corporations that are well-established and well-known the world over. These titans of industry don't need to advertise exactly what they do because most people already know. So let's get into how to avoid this trap so your tagline can bring home the bacon. Which actually kind of sounds like a tagline. Bring home the bacon. That's got to be a tagline. All right, let's get to it. The very first step in coming up with a tagline that makes you money is to mix one part creativity with one part clarity and go a little extra heavy on the clarity. The way that I like to approach this is simply this. If you've got a really clever business name that's kind of ambiguous and doesn't really clearly describe what you do, well then you're going to need a really specific and really clear tagline that basically sums up what you do and who you do it for. On the flip side, if you have a really crystal clear business name that pretty much describes what you do, well, you've got a little more creative freedom with your tagline, so you can afford to spice it up just a little, but don't get too carried away. An example of this would be, let's say you've got a really clear and specific business name that pretty much says exactly what you do. Something like, Joe's Plumbing, clearly a plumber. Well, this means that your tagline can get a little more creative. Maybe something like, uh, good flush beats a full house or we're number one in the number two business, or got a leak, I'll take a peek, or plumbers do it at the crack of dawn. Okay, I'll stop now. On the other hand, let's say your business is a little more ambiguous or not as clear, or maybe even just your name, something like Joe Stevenson. Well, then you're gonna wanna be a lot more clear and a lot more specific in your tagline. In this case, maybe something like a professional plumber when you need it most. It's not sexy, but it works. Now, if you're just getting started and you've never come up with a tagline for your business before, well, then these next tips are really going to help you. And essentially, we're going to go through three different questions you're going to want to answer and fill out, and then we can get to work from there. The first step is to really clearly define what do you do. I'm talking about your business, your product, your service, and the benefits that you provide to your customers. Talk about what you do and how you help bridge the gap from where they are to where they want to get to. And essentially the gap and the bridge that you're making is your product, your service, or your business. Now typically what we find is that the bigger the business, the harder this is going to be to define. After all, you likely have a number of different solutions and products available, but really try to describe as clearly and as accurately as possible what you do. The next question to ask is who you do it for. And what we're talking about here is really building out a complete ideal customer avatar. Someone that fits that ideal and most perfect client or prospect or customer that you'd like to have in your business. Now, when you're building out your ideal customer avatar, make sure to include things like their demographic details, like their age, gender, income, occupation, title, things like that. Their geographic details, like what city, state, province, country, maybe even what neighborhood they live in. And of course, there's psychographic details, like their attitudes, their interests, opinions, beliefs, and organizations or groups they may be a part of. The clearer you are here, and the more accurate your ideal representation is, the better your marketing is going to connect, and the more accurate your tagline is going to be able to be. The final question to ask yourself is how do you do it? And what we're talking about here is your unique selling proposition. Essentially, how you do what you do that's different or better and really separates you from the competition. Do you have some kind of proprietary method or unique signature system or unique methodology or maybe even some kind of tool that you use that others don't have? Well, this is where you want to describe that. All right, so now that you've got all those questions answered, it's time to put it all together into one clear, concise, and cohesive tagline. First, you want to brainstorm and essentially mind dump everything and just get it out of your head and onto a sheet of paper, onto a document on your computer. 
Now this is where things get a little tricky, but you want to go back and edit this down as best you can and try to really get it down to maybe a sentence or two or three at the absolute most. From there, you're going to want to edit it down even further. And remember, focus on brevity and clarity. So keep it short and keep it really clear. Try to get it down now to about a sentence. The odds are good that you're probably going to have a number of different sentences to choose from, and that's okay because that's going to lead us to our next step, which is to then take that sentence or two or three, depending on how many different ones you've come up with, and run them by your ideal target market, some of your potential customers, and some of your existing customers. See which ones resonate and which ones accurately define and essentially reflect your business and what you offer. At the end of the day, the type of tagline that makes you money is the one that's clear. Because confused customers don't buy. After all, how could they? They don't even know what you do. All right, so thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and say hello in the comments section below. Also, for more great content like this, make sure to head over to adamairheart.com, which is packed full of all sorts of videos and resources and articles to really help take your business and your marketing to the next level and way beyond that. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time on The Modern Marketing Show.